Hello and welcome to this guided meditation with me, Nikki Allen. All of my meditations are best enjoyed by using headphones and please do not use them whilst you're driving. Today I'm planning on taking you to a very, very special place that I came upon during my visits to heaven. When I found myself in this cavern, I was told that it was the core of the universe and that I was in the presence of the omnipresence. I'm not sure if this means God or not, but all I know is I've had some magical, magical encounters and experiences in this place. And of course, I now want to share this with you. So allow me to take you on a journey to a very magical place where I'm sure you will witness and experience some absolutely fantastic things. So first I ask you to find a space wherever you are that's calm, quiet. Turn off your phone, relax and allow yourself to sit or lay in a relaxed and comfortable position. Make sure that you don't have any restrictive clothing on. Allow yourself to completely melt into the sofa or the bed wherever you're laying. And just take one big sigh. <sighs> Allow your body to feel heavier, and lighter at the same time. Because you now don't need to move, you don't need to do anything apart from listen to my voice and allow me to take you to this special place. Think about your breathing now and take one big deep breath in. Hold and release. Take another beautiful breath in. Hold, release. And if you haven't already, Close your eyes. Again, take another beautiful deep breath in. Hold. And release. Now be mindful of your breathing. And with every exhalation, you imagine your body relaxing more and more. Think of your breaths going in telling your mind that you no longer wish to think of anything that you need to be doing or that you've just recently done, that your mind is clear and ready to be taken on this wonderful journey. Just listening to my voice, ignoring any other sounds, don't allow anything else to disturb you, just concentrate on me. And as your eyes are closed and you're taking in these relaxing breaths, visualize above you a ball of white blue light, fizzing and buzzing with energy, a globe of buzzing frequency above your head. Imagine it buzzing and swirling just slightly, spinning around above your head, about the size of perhaps a football getting to this size just above your head floating floating above your head you can see the blue and white lights fizzing in and out of this wonderful globe and then imagine some of the blue and white light fizzing down to the top of your head your crown chakra opening this portal allowing a violet light to come streaming from the top of your crown chakra the top of your head and connecting like an electric pulse connecting to this ball of light your crown chakra is now connected to this ball of light you may even feel the fizzing or the sparkling feeling on top of your head as your energy connects with this magnificent energy from the ethereal planes. It then sparks out another tendril of blue and white light and it connects to your third eye chakra. The portal opens now and you can see 
in your mind's eye that this wonderful purple light is now mixing with these tendrils, these electric lights swirling up, up back into the globe. You can see the purple light of your energy. So now as you visualize the ball, you can see violet, purple lights mingling with the blue and white lights of that orb above you. The globe then slowly moves down and now starts to reach out to your throat chakra. A portal opens at the base of your throat and now this beautiful blue light mixes with the tendrils that are coming out of this globe, reaching itself into the globe, almost becoming one with it as it takes your third chakra energy into its beautiful essence. Again, the globe moves slightly downwards and now it connects with the most important emotional part of our being, our heart chakra between our chest. We then see this portal opening, brilliant green light flooding in and connecting with all of these tendrils of light, mixing your energy into this beautiful globe of energy. You can feel the essences of this energy connecting in with this globe in this wonderful, wonderful energy spell. A spell that's having you feeling completely calm and relaxed. As you see and feel your energy mixing with this pulsing orb above you. The orb then moves slightly down, slightly, slightly down to your solar plexus just above your navel, bursting this wonderful yellow light, the core of your soul, the essence of your being, now connecting with this orb, intermingling with all the other colours that connect you to your soul. And once again, the globe moves down, further down to your sacral chakra, bursting this wonderful orange central light from the portal just below your navel, mixing, intermingling with all of the beautiful essences of your soul, being produced, being created, being manifested in this wonderful globe, pulsing with your energy and an energy of its own, connecting you, energizing you, but at the same time leaving you completely calm and relaxed. And this orb now moves just slightly further down and connects around your hip area to your base chakra. And the red comes exploding out from the base of your spine, coming through your pelvis area and pulsating with strength and life force, connecting to this beautiful, beautiful globe above you. Now mingling with all the colors that create your soul all of your portals are now connected to this throbbing essence of energy, pulsating, connecting, understanding your soul, understanding your intent of what you want to do next. You almost feel that like all of these tendrils that connect this globe to your soul are pulling, 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 and the globe is starting to reach upwards now, further away from you, and as it does, it takes your soul energy. You may feel light as you feel yourself start to float upwards, being pulled by this magnificent globe of light. It pulls you upwards and then it enables you to stand up in your soul energy, still connected to this magnificent orb. The orb then pulls you to the left and you feel yourself walking to the left and right in front of you is the most magnificent white sparkling door made of crystal. You can just about see through it. And as you walk closer, this white door opens and you find yourself walking into a clear glass elevator. The door closes behind you and you sense that you are now starting to go up. All you can see outside the windows is white mist sparkling with gold and silver essences, like tiny stars sparkling in a bright sky. White mist is all around you but you feel totally safe. 
you can feel yourself getting higher, higher, ascending, ascending, and you know that you're going into a higher realm, a higher frequency assisted by this globe of light that has now circled in front of you whilst you're in this elevator. And as you feel yourself ascending, you look at this globe and it comes closer, closer, closer towards you. And then it finally merges with your soul energy, passing in through your chest area. You feel immense, you feel magnificent. You feel your frequency heightening as you know you're going to somewhere that will require you to be pure, to have the highest vibration of energy possible. The elevator then comes to a stop and the glass door in front of you slides across and you take your first step onto a cool path. You realize that you feel that you've got bare feet and as you look down this path is nothing but a white marble glinting. There's still mist ahead of you. You can see nothing but you know and trust the process that you must walk along this path. You then take another step onto this path, feeling its cool divinity, knowing that this is an ethereal place that you find yourself in, knowing this path is going to lead you to something magnificent. Again, you're surrounded by this white mist, but it feels cool, it feels welcoming. Now and then you feel little sparks of energy around you, creating themselves to connect and touch with you. Those little electric sparks are just another divine energy that you are walking through. Very slowly as you walk forward, the mist starts to clear. You can make out the odd turret glinting in this most magnificent light that's not of this earth. It's brighter than sunlight, brighter than a full moon. An amazing translucent light that's allowing the turrets to glint. And as you walk further forward, you can see this mist clearing even more. And there before you, you start to see the doors, the windows, the towers. And you now know that you are walking towards the Crystal Palace. And this is the manifestation of how the angel realms show us what heaven looks like. It allows us to understand and know that we're entering into a frequency that takes us to the layers of heaven. We feel excitement as we continue to walk closer, closer to this magnificent palace, almost looking like a fairy tale castle glinting in that wonderful, magnificent light that's not of this earth. You can feel its warmth on your back as you walk towards this beautiful, beautiful palace. You feel safe, you feel free, you feel pure. You then come right up to the palace and see a huge arched doorway, again glistening whites, blues, silvers and golds, almost like it's moving with energy. And before you approach this door, you have three steps to stand upon. You stand on the first step and you can feel it vibrating under your feet. It's vibrating with your frequency. It's preparing you, raising your energy, raising your vibration for the place that you're going to visit. You then take your second step. You may hear a silent hum. You may hear a silent calling. You may hear voices as this is a step that aligns itself to your spirit guides. They are now alerted that you stand at the door and know that your intent is to come into this beautiful space. And so they bring their energy to you, welcoming you into this wonderful space. And the third step, this is where the angels hear your frequency, see your pure light, see your heart that's made of nothing beauty and kindness and compassion. 
and in this time that they look through your frequency they can see that you belong and can enter into this wonderful space you then see the door start to open slowly and standing there in his magnificence is Archangel Gabriel his bright beautiful eyes looking down upon you with love blonde tendrils of hair blowing in an unseen breeze, his robes also swaying, glinting yellow and gold light. He places a hand out, you naturally reach up for him. Welcome, he says. Come into this space of love, purity and learning. Allow me to guide you to the space that you are asking to go to. You walk through the door hand in hand with Gabriel and you find yourself walking into this most magnificent bright white foyer that has nothing but doors and every corner. You're aware that the door closes behind you. Gabriel smiles at you, you feel safe, you feel loved. He gently guides you forwards to a door straight ahead and he opens that door for you and guides you through. Straight away you're hit with the magnificence of a warm sunlight and warm breeze. You can see an arched way that goes right the way along a beautiful path and across this archway are all the most beautiful flowers you could imagine. Bougainvillea, honeysuckle, jasmine, roses curl themselves around the structure. You can smell the essence of these beautiful flowers, stronger than you'd ever smell anything down here. You're up in a space where everything, everything is magnified. And as that breeze comes and passes through your hair and past your face, you can smell the full scent that takes place. Mm. And then you're aware that you can hear the buzzing of bees. You can see the most magnificent colored butterflies and dragonflies that fly along past you as you walk through this beautiful archway. You're aware that you can see lines and lines of brilliantly colored roses to your right. You're aware that you are in a garden as you slowly, slowly step down one step from the archway of flowers. To your left you can see the most magnificent huge fountain and there perhaps you may see the seraphim healing and singing. But Gabriel doesn't take you to this fountain. He takes you to your right towards those rows of roses and as you start to walk along one aisle surrounded by roses note the colour of the roses that are to your left and note the colour of the roses to your right and these are the colours that Gabriel has given you Gabriel being a messenger is bringing you a message through the colour that you see in those roses they smell magnificent you feel warm this sun that burns brighter than anything you've ever seen brings warmth to your shoulders, the top of your head. You continue to walk along this rose-lined pathway and before you, you see a huge stone wall. Gabriel, still smiling and lovingly looking down at you, takes you to a stone step. He then stands directly behind you and holds both of your arms in front of you, supporting you. And you find with surprise that part of this stone wall starts to move across to your left, slides across, solid rock slides across and creates an opening. Gabriel gently pushes you forward and you find yourself in a cool, beautiful space. 
To your left there is a winding path glinting with every gemstone that you can imagine. Every crystal that connects and is found in Mother Earth is here now glinting in this path. Ahead of you you can see the most magnificent canopy. You're entering into a cave, a cavern. The roof of the cavern is beyond anything you have ever seen. Visions, flurries of clouds, moving to rainfall, to sunshine, to rainbows. This canopy shows every type of thing that we may see when we're on the earth looking up to a sky. And as you look to the back of the cavern, you can see various things flowing through the cavern's walls. Pictures of earth, pictures of humans laughing, crying, celebrating, war, hatred, peace, calm, every emotion, everything that connects us to this earth plane is now playing out just like a movie in front of you. And as you bring your gaze from this back wall, you can see a big raised area. Purple, grey stone glinting. It's almost like a stage area, circular, right in the centre of the cavern. The rest of the walls glint with amethyst, rose quartz, carnelian, clear quartz, every single crystal that you can imagine is placed within these walls. Gabriel then comes to your right hand side, taking your hand and slowly walks you down the crystal path, winding, winding down to your left. There's then a bend in the path and you go to your right and straight ahead of you is the raised stage. You come up to this circular stone platform and as you stand on a certain spot just before you can lift your foot up to this platform, the vibration begins. Your feet, your body can feel this vibration. Something, something magical is about to take place. You can almost feel the expectancy in the air, like waiting for a train to arrive, feeling the electricity just before a storm. Here, something magical will manifest. And right before your eyes, a clear energy, sparkling with silvers, golds and blues starts to amass in front of you. It starts to come from the bottom of the raised stone, reaching higher and higher and higher, almost like steam, but then starts to solidify. It's almost like a clear jelly, getting bigger, 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 starting to move, form and shape itself. And as it gets to a formidable height, it then starts to connect with the back walls of the cavern. The energy connection then starts to project these beautiful images onto this clear jelly, filling it with colour. You can see fish down streams, bears grabbing the fish down the streams. You can see soldiers marching, a baby being born, rainbows, tornadoes, hurricanes, brilliant sunshine, beautiful beaches, everything that we experience and see in Mother Nature and everything we see and experience in humankind is starting to project itself through this mass that stands in front of you. And very, very slowly, this mass then starts to form into a giant face. You can see that the eyes start to form, the nose, the mouth. The mouth starts to move, speaking silent words. And very, very slowly, the eyelids that create the eyes open. And the two pupils that look at you look like 
the globe of Earth. They then turn into the most beautiful blue-green eyes that you would recognise in a human eye and they look directly at you. It's almost like you can feel this mass in front of you, connecting with you, because you know that it's saying, Welcome, I am the Omnipresence. I am part of you, I am part of the planet, and I am part of every life force that connects on Mother Earth. You stand before me now, as no doubt you are pure of heart and you wish to know more about the universe and perhaps about yourself. And so what happens now is that you have got time, you have the energy and you have the space to ask and connect with the omnipresence. So I will leave you now to connect with the core of the universe where you will either be shown what you need to be shown, you will learn what you need to learn, or your questions will be answered.
wherever you may be, whoever you may be with, whatever you're experiencing, it's now time to come back, back to the cabin, back to standing with Archangel Gabriel. During this experience, I hope that you've seen many things, learned many things, witness many things that will help you on your earth path. You're aware of now looking back at the omnipresence image. Again, the image will be however you see it. His face will say, thank you for coming, you are here now. You can be here whenever you wish. You are welcome to come back to this space anytime. Gabriel then sends a hand out to the right and you follow his hand and see the globe that you saw right at the beginning of your journey. Sparkling, beautiful light. You see it sparkling light down to the floor of the cavern. And you know that you must connect back with this globe to be guided back to where you need to be. So you walk to your right towards the globe and reconnect with its energy, feeling it pulsating between you and you sending out your energy back to that globe. It almost has its own sentience as it starts to guide you back past the raised stone. You look once more towards the omnipresence who is still looking at you with loving eyes and start to walk up the winding path. You're aware that Gabriel is standing next to you but you are guided more by the globe than you are Gabriel. You find yourself walking up this beautiful path and eventually find yourself at the stone door. Again slides itself open and you can view the roses in front of you and the celestial garden. You turn back and you know that Gabriel is going to be remaining in the cavern now as he sends his love with you. The globe of light guides you to walk forward and you find yourself back amongst the roses, walking in the beautiful sunlight, feeling the heat on the back of your shoulders, your neck. You stop and take one last look at the cavern door as it slowly closes, and Gabriel raises a hand. It is a hello, and it is a goodbye at the same time. He's welcoming you back to this space whenever you wish. You can smell the sweet scent of the roses as you turn around and start to walk forward. Directly ahead of you in the distance, you can see the most formidable fountain. Already you can see its translucent lights flowing from one layer to another, pouring from this beautiful lotus flower in stone. It's coming out of every dip at every petal, flowing down to the next level, then into a big pool. You can see white-robed ladies with long dark hair singing, humming, smiling, and they turn as they're aware of your presence as you walk slowly towards them. One of them walks forward and takes your hand. She is a seraphim and she knows that you need to now go back to your own frequency on your own planet. She radiates nothing but healing, music and love. She takes your hand and leads you to the ledge of this magnificent fountain and now and then you can feel the spray coming from the water that's dropping into this massive pool. And as that spray hits your energy, it almost fizzes. This is the fountain of life. This is the place 
where healing takes place but it also contains a portal within its waters and this portal allows you to change your frequency and energy and go back to the space that you came from the seraphim guides you up onto the ledge and then she slowly helps you over into the water that you find reaches up to your waist it feels sublime it's cool but warm at the same time you can feel the flow of the water going in and out of your soul cleansing 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 bringing pinks and greens all the most calmest colors up and down through your energy and your soul and she says to you to your mind i'm just giving you this healing from the purity of this space before you go back to your human incarnation you feel relaxed you feel pure you feel magnificent you also feel that you are ready to continue the next stage of your human life for a day an hour however long it may be until you can come back to this wonderful space you're in now The seraphim notices that you have had this beautiful healing experience and now realises it's time for you to go back to your human body. A small swirl of water starts before you. You can look down to the water in front of you and it just slowly, slowly spirals, spirals. A little whirlpool of light, colour and water starts to radiate around you. You step forward and you can almost feel yourself slowly rotating in this winding whirlpool that's slowly, slowly pulling you down. But it feels magnificent. It doesn't matter that you're being pulled down because this water that surrounds you, this essence that surrounds you, makes you feel complete, makes you feel healed, makes you feel one with yourself. before you know it you almost feel like the air and the water that's within this fountain you can feel yourself swirling down you can't see anything but color light very slowly the swirling swirling stops and you find yourself as you come to a halt looking at your physical body so you turn around and you gently gently lower yourself back in to your physical body and as you feel the heaviness of you being in your body you then realize where you are in the room that you started this journey on and you start to wiggle your toes move your legs perhaps tense your thighs just a little bit and then you focus on your tummy and realize it is rising and dropping with each breath that's taken you're aware of your arms, your hands, your fingers and start to wiggle them, allowing yourself to be completely, completely familiar back in your human body. And then you can start feeling the breath going in through your nose, out through your mouth, swallowing, breathing and finally your heavy eyelids now start to open. Do you find yourself in the reality of the room that you initially laid down to go on this journey? You feel relaxed, you feel calm, you feel harmony, you feel balance. Despite what you have learned and witnessed on this journey today, still be aware that you have been in an essence of purity compassion and love and this beautiful healing energy will serve you well for as long as it stays in your body you now feel that you can face anything you now feel you have a lot more knowledge universal knowledge spiritual knowledge and that certain knowledge that you've been shown today will serve you well and show you and help you and help you continue to go on your path 
perhaps write everything down that's taken place so that you don't forget every single thing you've been taught or shown today. Make sure you ground yourself with a cup of tea or have something sweet. Just be gentle with yourself and kind to yourself. Very slowly you'll get back into the normal things that you have to do on this earth plane. Just embrace this time now, feeling this sublime calmness, feeling this sense of peace in your mind and your heart, and know that you have been to a very special place because you are a very special person and you are enough. I will leave you now to sit in this beautiful energy until you're ready to carry on your day.